everyone, I'm Alta with Turn Bicycles and congratulations on your brand new short haul. In this video, we'll go over everything you need to know to get started with your short haul. There's a lot to cover, so we'll put timestamps in the description below to give you a quick overview of what we'll be covering and make it easy for you to skip back to the sections you want to rewatch. Let's get started. Your short haul is designed to be ridden with both wheels on the ground on paved roads or graded and maintained gravel roads. Please keep in mind that using your bike on other types of surfaces may void your warranty. Your short haul comes with an adjustable seat post, making it super easy to adjust the bike to your fit without using any tools. It also allows you to easily share your bike with family members and friends. To adjust the seat post, simply pull the quick release lever, adjust it to your preferred height, and close the lever to secure it. For safety reasons, always stay within the minimum insertion indicator marked here on the seat post. If you want to make it easier or harder to close the quick release, simply open the lever and then twist the clamp screw nut. If the quick release on your seat post is not properly closed or adjusted, there's a risk of injury, so it's essential to operate it correctly. The short haul has a shifter that allows you to control the speed and pedaling resistance. This indicator tells you which gear you're in. To change gears, either push the rear-facing shift lever pedal with your thumb to downshift to a lower gear, or pull the forward-facing shift lever pedal with your fingers to shift to a higher gear. Remember to always paddle when shifting, but don't forget to ease up on the paddling to reduce chain wear and prevent skipping on the cassette and chain. We recommend that you downshift to a lower gear before you come to a stop or ride up a steep hill and shift to a higher gear as you accelerate or ride downhill. This is especially important when you're carrying heavy loads. Also, remember never to move the shifter while paddling backwards or to paddle backwards immediately after shifting. This could jam the chain and cause serious damage to your bicycle. Your short haul comes equipped with front and rear hydraulic disc brakes for excellent stopping power. When you're looking at your handlebar from the rider's position, the rear brake lever is on the right and the front brake lever is on the left. In a few countries, this orientation may be reversed, so we recommend double checking before your first ride if you're not sure. Please be aware that suddenly pulling the brakes hard can have dangerous results, particularly in wet or slippery conditions. In general, aim to apply even pressure to both brake levers when you need to stop. Your brake pads are consumable parts and may be the first part on your short haul that you need to replace. So keep an eye on your brake pads, especially if your normal routes include steep descents. Your short haul can stand and roll vertically, which is very convenient when you need to maneuver your bike into an elevator or store it indoors. It takes a little bit of practice to master the art of vertically rolling and parking your short haul, but you get the hang of it if you give it a shot. Let me show you how to do it. Start by standing next to your bike. Either side will do and hold the handlebar with both hands. Apply the rear brake and walk backwards until the bike stands up. It's natural to want to pull the bike when you walk backwards, However, it's actually a lot easier to just focus on walking backwards. Make sure that all of the contact points on the rear of the bike are in contact with the floor and that the bike is parked on a flat, even surface. If you want to roll your short haul, just release the rear brake and roll the bike forward. There are a few things we recommend checking before every ride. And to make it a little bit easier, we suggest using this mnemonic device. A, B, C, Q, D. A is for air. Use your fingers to squeeze the tires to check the air pressure. They should feel nice and firm, but not too firm. B is for brakes and bar. Check the brakes by squeezing both the levers to make sure that the wheels stop. Then check the handlebar on your short hold to make sure everything is nice and tight. C is for chain and cables. Before you check the chain, always remove all cargo from your short haul. To check if the chain turns freely through the gears, tilt the bike on the kickstand and hold the handlebar to prevent the bike from falling. Then rotate the paddle forward several times and run through the gears. 
Next, check if the cables are undamaged and untangled. Q is for all the quick releases. Check if the quick releases on the seat posts and the wheels are securely closed and not too loose or tight. D stands for drop. Lift your short haul a few inches and drop it to the ground. If anything shakes or rattles, always make adjustments before riding. To make sure your bike stays safe and reliable, it's important to perform regular maintenance. And we have a few tips to help you get started. Your bike has lots of moving parts, many of which require lots of lubrication. First, don't forget to clean and lubricate your chain regularly. After applying the lubricant, make sure you wipe off all access lubricant. If you want to learn how to clean and lubricate your chain, check out our basic maintenance video in the description below. Check if your wheels are trued, meaning straight, by spinning them. Check for any abnormal side-to-side -side motions and if the disc brake rotor is not rubbing against the brake pads. If you find anything that is worn or damaged, bring your bike to your dealer. There are several parts on your bike that will wear over time, including the chain, brake pads and tires. If you notice signs of wear, please visit your dealer for a replacement. And last but not least, we recommend bringing your bike back to your dealer for regular service. It's really important for all riders to get a quick tune-up one month after use, so that your dealer can adjust cables and other key parts. After the first tune-up, we recommend that you take some time to discuss a regular service schedule with your dealer. How often you'll bring your bike back for service really depends on your riding frequency, typical load, weather conditions, road surfaces, and more. At TURN, we believe in making useful bikes that will simply help you do more. Pairing your short haul with the right accessories is the key to unlocking your bike's potential to become the perfect tool for your needs. We highly recommend equipping your short haul with front and rear lights to make sure you and others stay safe. Always remember that the front light angle must be adjusted downwards to avoid blinding oncoming traffic. You can carry one passenger on the rear rack of the short haul. The rear rack is rated to 50 kilograms or about 110 pounds, meaning that your passenger plus any rear rack accessories and cargo shouldn't weigh more than 50 kilograms combined. When it comes to carrying passengers, safety is our top priority. To safely carry a passenger, your short haul must have a seat for your passenger, something for them to hold onto other than the bike itself, something to support their feet, and something to prevent their shoes and clothing from getting caught in the spinning wheel. When you decide on a passenger setup, you'll have to think about the passenger's height, weight, and the weather conditions in which you'll be riding in. If you plan on carrying a young passenger and it rains a lot where you live, we highly recommend building this particular setup. It's called the Clubhouse Sport Mini, and it helps protect the passenger from rain, wind, and also UV rays. When it comes to cargo carrying accessories, there's a lot to choose from. Which cargo accessories you choose really depends on what you want to carry. Here's an example of how you can carry your weekly groceries and more. If you want to learn more about our accessory setups and get tips on how to safely carry a passenger and cargo, check out the links in the description below. And that's it! We hope you've enjoyed this video and learned a thing or two about your short haul. Remember, you can always check out the user manual or visit your dealer if you have any questions. And if you'd like to share your experiences, you can join us at the Turn Short Haul Group on Facebook. See you there!